Are you overloading yourself or working yourself to death? Grandma's porch. Sit down, relax, enjoy. Here on Grandma's porch. Why I want to be an underachiever. Are you working yourself to death? Hello y'all, I'm Diana Brianne. Well, I really don't want to be an underachiever, but I most certainly don't want to work myself to death. You know, in many ways, I'm an overachiever. Now, you know, at least in my book, I am. I tend to take on way too much. And sometimes I have to really kind of discipline myself and say, hey, wait a minute, you gotta pull back and not take on so much. My name is Diana Brianne, and I don't give suggestions and I don't give advice or information. I just share with you how I see life. And so I've been thinking about it. You know, yesterday was a busy day for me. Today I'm staying home. And the reason I'm staying home is I got a tremendously great workout yesterday. Now, normally I work out seven days a week. Well, today I did do my five mile run, which I do most days, if not all days. And, but normally I go to the gym every day. But about eight months ago, I quit doing aerobics because, well, they made us wear masks when we were doing aerobics, and I didn't want to wear a mask when I was doing high-impact aerobic. So I took off from doing aerobics, and then I took off from the gym for about six months, and um, when they made us wear masks all the time there. Now the mask is not mandatory while we're working out. So I went back, and I do a full workout with the elliptical every day and the machines, and yet I hadn't ventured back into the aerobics for a total of eight months or thereabouts. And so yesterday I went back to my high impact cardio aerobics. And I have to tell you, it kicked my butt because I was stretching muscles that have not been stretched probably for about eight months. So I'm a little bit sore today. And so I'm taking it a little bit easier today than I normally, normally would. And so this is the thing. Sometimes we can take on too much in life. And I'm a person that tends to push that envelope for myself, not for others so much, but for myself. I put a lot of expectations on myself. As you all know, I'm a full-time college student with more than full-time classes. I um, Next semester, I'm really scheduled for a lot of classes, but prior to um, this semester, I've, you know, uh, this semester I took five classes, which three are normal. And so I tend to take on a lot and I achieve a lot. I really, really do. But I also tend to push myself. So like yesterday, it was like, okay, I want to go to the gym, but I also want to run. But I also want to go and look at antiques and see my friends. And I also want to do this and I also want to do that. So I tend to want to take on a lot of different things. Plus I did live streaming. Plus I did my videos. You know, it, the list goes on and on. And so am I, am I an overachiever or just an overworker? I don't know. But one thing is I don't want to overload my plate of life. And so often I have to pull back like today. I'm pulling back and I'm just kind of resting, recharging, relaxing. During my videos, I did a live stream and I did my five mile run and now I'm going to take it easy for the rest of the day. And so I really got to thinking about that. You know, growing up, it was sort of, you know, people were very proud if they worked themselves to death. That was what life was about. If you didn't work yourself to death, well, you weren't a good person maybe. You know, well, I didn't like that attitude. I didn't want to work myself to death. I didn't want to be lazy either because growing up we had the lazy people and then the people that worked themselves to death. And I didn't want to be either. 
I want to be balanced in my life and I don't want to be lazy. I don't want to be unmotivated. I want to be motivated. I want to reach for my dreams. I want to go for my dreams. And I realize that takes work. And yet I don't want to overload myself in life where I'm not enjoying anything, where I'm not rested or working myself to death like grandma would say. I don't want to do that. Okay. I want to take care of me. So I find a fine balance in my life that um, like today, you know, I did do a lot yesterday. So today I'm kind of making up for it and kind of resting and recharging a bit. And so, you know, we don't want to work ourselves to death. We don't want to overload ourselves. We want to take care of our bodies. And sometimes that means slowing down and resting. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels. Links are pinned to the top of the comment section below. And if you connect with me with all five of my channels, I will likely connect back with you with all five of my channels. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye. to relax and a place to enjoy.